Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. This is your reading for the next two months and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading Aquarius will see uh, what, uh, what are the general messages that you need to know and what you need to know regarding your love life. Okay. As far as the general messages are concerned, we'll see your energy and messages related to career and finances. As far as uh, your love life is concerned, we'll see the energy of your ex and energy of your next romantic partner. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in a description box and comment section Aquarius. Let's get started now. <coughs> your energy aquarius we have the hanged man so hanged man is telling me aquarius that you are trying to show a lot of patience you're trying to show patience in a lot of things in your life okay i think so you're taking a back foot from something you're doing some activity uh, continuously but uh, you're not getting desired results. So you probably have come to a realization that I need to change certain things about it. I need to take a different approach towards it. I need to take a different perspective. Okay. Because I have been continuously putting efforts, but I'm not getting the desired results. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. Okay. So if I have to get some conclusive results, I need to take a step back. I need to evaluate. I need to look at the entire situation. Okay. I need to see where I'm going wrong. If there is any rectification that is needed. If there is a change in the approach that is needed. Okay. So I think so you're trying to slow things down in the next two months. You're trying to slow things down because you want to understand. You're trying to understand your approach. Okay, or you're trying to understand where things are not working and how can I make them work? Okay, what will make them work? Because I do feel like you have been putting in a lot of uh, hard work. I mean, you have been giving a lot of attention. A lot of hard work has been put from your end. But there is something that is not working or it's not working the way you want it to work. Whether it is your career, whether it is your love life relationship whether it is money, whether it is your health, whatever it is, okay? There are certain things that are not giving you the results, the what, what you are expecting, okay? So that's why you're taking a step back from something, okay? And evaluating the entire situation. <clears throat> as far as career and finances are concerned, we have two of swords, so two of swords is telling me Aquarius that I think so you're trying to do a lot of things at the same time and what is happening because of that is the dedication and devotion that is needed towards all these things or the time that is required for all these things you're not able to give enough of time okay so I think so you're going to reach crossroads say like you are trying to handle three to four things at the same time okay and you are not able to give enough of your time and energy to all those four things so you might arrive at a conclusion like i need to drop one thing out of these four things that i'm trying to pay attention to okay either the my time and energy is falling short or the resources are not enough okay uh so i think so you're trying to cut out certain activities with an intention to focus towards chosen specific activities okay so that's what i see you you will find yourself thinking about which activity needs to be slowed down or which activities needs to be prioritized maybe you're not even cutting out certain activities maybe you're simply slowing them down you're prioritizing other things okay you're prioritizing specific activities specific careers specific businesses that's what I'm getting over here. Okay. I also feel that you are trying to detach yourself emotionally from certain aspects of your career. Okay. Say for example, you're doing a 9 to 5 job. Okay. 
but at the same time you have made very good friends over there in uh, at your workplace and then always your friends come up with some sort of uh, uh, with some sort of uh, plans like let's go here let's go there let's plan out this let's do this and xyz and then you find yourself bunking your office or you find yourself uh, you know not able to focus much towards your work because continuously you're thinking that today i'm going out with my friends so what should i wear how should i look and what are the things we should be doing where we should go the attention that is needed towards your work or attention that is needed towards uh uh towards the main priorities that is not happening so it might also happen to prioritize your work you might cut cut out some social activities okay so that is also what i'm getting i i feel like you want to prioritize your career and you have been prioritizing your career but there is certain things there are certain things that need to be changed okay and that's what you are trying to understand that's what you are putting your energy like what exactly needs to be changed whether it is my approach whether it is the career itself or whether it is the work that i put in okay so that's what i see over here then the lovers the lovers is telling me aquarius that in the next two months it is very likely that through work or at work you're going to meet someone special you are meeting someone special okay you will find yourself getting attracted towards someone special uh someone significant who will stay in your life for a very long period of time okay we'll discover your love life more but at least this is the message i'm getting right now someone is entering in your life from a long term perspective as far as your ex is concerned we have five of pentacles i think so uh your ex's demotivation is is only increasing day by day they have started realizing that you seriously have no intention to go back to them okay there was a time when probably when both of you were crazy about one another you did a lot of things for you, for this ex of yours okay but then things did not work out and you both of you parted ways and this ex of yours they were in hope that someday you will come back to them but you never returned neither did you call neither did you text nothing happened and this person was under the assumption that someday you are going to return but so far you have not at all returned right and this person has started losing hope they wanted to come towards you but they are also feeling like it's too late for them to come towards you there is no point in coming towards you because very likely you have moved on either you are with someone else or you uh you don't want them back like you, you your mind is full of hatred when it comes to them you you are angry when it comes to them you don't want them at all that's why you have not put in any kind of efforts but still this person is not questioning themselves like if they wanted to come towards you i mean if they were still hoping for reconnection even they could have taken an initiative towards you they have they are not questioning themselves but they are questioning your actions like why you did not come towards them okay and uh, so i think so this person is giving up on the hopes of reconnection <clears throat> and uh, they have come to that realization i think so okay they have come to that realization that you have no intention to go back to them whatsoever okay let's talk about your new person we have eight of cups and we have two of pentacles I think so uh, Aquarius it kind of seems that you First of all I see you will be going out on dates multiple dates but you will also be rejecting a lot of them okay because somewhere I feel like there is a push and pull that is happening between career and your love life you want to prioritize your career and you are prioritizing your career i'm not saying no uh but then there is somewhere deep down 
there is an inner voice which is also kind of telling you to focus on your love life also so you're trying to listen or adhere to what your inner voice is trying to tell you go out so that's why you're going out on couple of going out with uh, uh going out with couple of them right <clears throat> and but for i also see like the people that you want to go out with uh you will not find yourself getting interested in them at the same time you might feel slightly guilty like why i'm focusing on love life when i actually want to prioritize my career so somewhere you will it might be an unnecessary feeling that uh i want to prioritize my career but i am giving attention to love life as well so you might carry some guilt while going out on dates that is coming across as some unnecessary guilt so i do see you will be rejecting a lot and another important reason for rejections i see over here is you really won't find anyone interesting but after a lot of rejections i do see you're meeting someone special okay and then you will really start thinking okay this person is very interesting now i will have to juggle i will have to put some serious efforts towards juggling between my career priorities and my love life related priorities <clears throat> for some of you you will also have options like really good options i do see you you are thinking pretty seriously about two people and wondering which one is right one for you it's probably it's going to be a tough choice for you but ultimately you're going to make that choice ultimately you are choosing one and walking away from another but it's not going to be an easy easy choice that's what i'm getting okay for some of you it is also going to be the case where you will probably reach a situation or you will reach a phase in your life where you'll be like i don't think so love is ever going to happen in my life you probably will give up on love and exactly at that point of time love is going to happen when you will find yourself giving up on love at that point of time love is going to happen at that point of time someone significant is entering in your life okay so there are multiple possibilities for many of you in the next two months uh the likelihood of meeting someone at work or through work is is also high uh some of you might meet this person during travel or some of you i'm hearing shopping some of you might meet this person during shopping okay uh number 2 is of some importance you're going to see a lot of 2 2 2 before meeting this person there is going to be an instant attraction no doubt about it there is going to be an instant attraction and <clears throat> you will feel instant emotional connection as well with this person but i don't know why somehow i feel aquarius like even though you're going to feel that instant emotional connection you will not show that instant emotional connection to that person right away either you will spend some time in evaluating that person or you will be like i also want to focus on my career so i don't want to show an instant emotional connection to this person right away let me take care of my career related priorities for some time and then i'll show connection to this person okay so there is there is a there is something like you're going back and forth between career and your love life there is a you're juggling between uh, career and your love life okay uh but as far as love is concerned yes you will feel the connection but don't stretch it for long as well like when it's time for you to show your uh, emotions to that person and if you're feeling like this is the right person for you just go ahead and open yourself up to that person i mean see if you tell this person like yes i really like you i really feel that connection with you but at the moment i also have my career priorities okay so if we if i want to balance both of these i want to balance my career also and i want to balance love life also so hope you understand this so be open in in your communication with your person and if this person really loves you they will understand you and i think so this is a true love aquarius this is once in a lifetime love okay so you should be open 
to this person regarding whatever you're thinking, whatever your intentions are, right? I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. Take care, have a great time and bye-bye.